day one as an ICT intern. Hashtag excited. Hashtag can't wait. Oh, hey, I'm Naomi and today I'm going to be starting my internship in the ICT industry. ICT, otherwise known as Information Communication Technology, is responsible for the storage, receiving and transmitting of data in the digital world. This is why you can Skype, tweet and call people from various countries. ICT encompasses technologies such as radios, satellite systems and network hardware and software. I can't wait to find out what my first day here would be like. Welcome to the world of Information Communication Technology. the new intern. Could you share with me more about your job? Yeah, sure. So as a software application developer, what I do is go to the clients and ask them, what is your business need? And I will translate that business need into programming language. So once I program what they need, I will then test it to ensure that it works. And once I am sure that it works, I will bring it through this process called user acceptance testing. So I bring the program to the users and they will verify if it works correctly. So once that is verified, I will then push it into production, which means that it is open for all users to access. So when it's in production, the best thing that can happen is that no bugs ever occur. But in the event that a bug does happen, we will approach the users and ask them what is the correct behaviour that is expected, and then we will update and modify the program as necessary. Wow! I did not expect so much back-end work to go into something that seemed so simple. Thank you so much, Ms. Yap. No problem. Hi everyone! Do you guys know what this object is? I know what it is. It's a rocket. It's a rocket? It's not a rocket. It's a little... It's the shit alien spaceship. <laughs> this is a communication satellite that relays signals from one part of the Earth to another. Now, speaking of which, can anyone tell me how many mobile phone subscriptions there are in Singapore? A hundred billion. hundred billion? Perhaps a hundred thousand. Perhaps a hundred thousand. A million gazillion. A million gazillion? Close enough. There are actually 8 million phone subscriptions in Singapore. Which is interesting because there are less than 6 million people living in Singapore. One final question. What do you think an information security officer does? He catches people for time secrets. Close enough? Let's find out. I wonder what's inside. Hi, Miss May! Hello, Naomi. <laughs> what's inside that room? What is so important that it needs to be kept in a secure room? We have sensitive information there that we need to protect, and that's by implementing security policies we have with the organization. We are also doing security compliance. What we do is that we have regular internal audits and we also facilitate external audits. We scan the network. How we do that is that we conduct regular vulnerability assessment, we have penetration testing, that is part of our risk assessment. All this is that we want to test and evaluate whether the firewall, the antivirus programs, are they effective enough to protect the organization infrastructure. And all these results that we come out with in the end has to be reported to the top management as a report so that they know that what are the potential security breaches that the organization might face. It is my responsibility to protect company important data. Regularly, we have to go and attend information security courses to upgrade ourselves. Wow, it's so amazing to see how much effort is needed to put in place all these security features. With so much emphasis placed on information security, I have no doubt that your company's valuable information will be kept safe and well protected for a long time. You may not realise this, but there are systems to improve and problems to solve every day. Let's hear from an expert in the service systems. Mr. Addison, please share with me about your job. Sure. So basically what I do is I meet clients to understand their business needs and try and solve that with machine learning techniques. Essentially what I do is I use data to solve a problem. Uh, in one situation, I could be understanding tourist movements in Singapore and generating insights for companies. Uh, in another, understanding market segments to establish brand champions. And in the last, I could be solving health and public safety problems. Wow, I had no idea that there was so much data collected and studied in order to innovate and improve the service systems. Are there any special skill sets needed to do well in this job? Yeah, there is. So, um, 
math and statistics are definitely prerequisites. You need some kind of programming language, so coding is a must. Um, there's also uh, the research method that you need to be familiar with. What we tend to do is we generate a hypothesis, take the data set from a company, understand what the data is telling us from the hypothesis itself, test it and then basically generate insights for the company. So that's an important part of the job. Teamwork is a must as well, uh, as with most jobs these days. And finally, um, keeping up to date with technology. So AI tech is big now and we use that to understand text and analytics. We can use that to understand how a city changes over time. Thank you Mr. Edison for sharing with me. I feel like my brain is about to explode with an overload of information. What a productive day! We've learned so much! From now on, let's remember that whenever you send an email, send a message, or call someone locally or overseas, it is made possible through the hard work of professionals in the information communication technology industry. Now, let me share this newfound information with my friends on social media.